This is one of three parts to a Celtic medley that was voted on over at the patrons at patreon.com. You can check out the link down below to join up and help vote on next month's song, as well as find the tabs for this and many other tutorials. Let's go ahead and jump into Drunken Sailor, which is one of my favorite Irish tunes. To kick it off, we're going to play a D minor chord. And to play our D minor chord, we're going to take our middle finger, place it on the second fret of the G string, our ring finger, place it on the second fret of the C string, and our index finger, and place it on the first fret of the E string. Now we've talked about in some other videos playing a D minor with only two fingers. If you're familiar with that, feel free to use it, but I'm going to stick to the three finger method here today. So the first thing that we're going to do is a down strum. You can see it indicated by that sort of three quarters of a square marker. So I'm going to use my finger and strum downward to kick it off. Now you'll notice there are a whole bunch of zeros written here and the markers are going to include 16th notes, which means it's played quite fast. So we need to use a technique to be able to facilitate that speed. What I like to do is use something called alternate picking, which is going to use my thumb and middle fingers on my playing hand. I'm going to go back and forth between my thumb downward and my middle finger upward. Notice how they're offset with my middle finger behind the thumb, thumb about a 45 degree angle with the middle finger more perpendicular. And this will facilitate much more speed than if I were to try just playing with my thumb, for instance. Another way that you can play this is just using your middle and index fingers and alternate. So whichever one feels more comfortable for you will work. They're both great techniques to use on this song. So to start here, the first line sounds something like this. You'll notice I do my down strum on that first chord. Then I'm going to alternate on the A string. And then it's going to be two on the C, which I'll use my thumb to play. And then one on the E, which I'll use my index to play. And open on the A, which I can use my middle finger to play. Notice how that's already built into this chord. It's exactly what we're playing. So again, the first measure is Now as we go to the second measure, we're going to need to mute a string. You'll see it's written as 003x. So I'm going to take my middle finger, place it here on the third fret of the E string. I take my ring finger, and I'm actually going to touch the A string, but not compress it down. This is going to make it so that it is not ringing, but rather creating a muted sound. So if you push too hard, you'll get the audible sound. If you don't push hard enough, you'll get that sort of ringing. So it's just barely touching the string. And this is especially difficult because when we're fretting with one finger, which we're using our middle finger to fret, and then we're just touching with the other finger, it's just tricky. It, it feels a lot like doing this because you have one finger pushing one force and another finger pushing a different one. So it takes quite a bit of practice to get comfortable with if you haven't done it before. So uh, be patient, it'll, it'll get there. And we're going to now do a down strum here. And then we're going to be playing the three on the E string where we were playing the A string before. So again, alternating with my thumb and middle or my index and middle, that's fine as well. Both techniques work great. So this measure is going. And then to resume this measure, it's gonna be open on the C. Then you'll remove the fingers, play open on the E. Then reapply a finger back to three on the E. So that whole measure is. Now from here, the next measure is almost the same as the first with a little bit of a variation. So we go back to our D minor, just like we played before. But then the end of this measure is different because we're going to go to two on the A. And to do this, we're gonna take our middle finger, we're gonna place it on the second fret of the A string and what you'll notice with that is I'm removing from the D minor my ring and middle fingers. I'm gonna leave my index because it doesn't have to move, but the other two fingers are gonna come off so I can put the middle on two of the A, ring on three of the A, and then stretch the pinky up to five on the A. So that whole measure is. And now we go into the last measure of this little section. We're gonna do a down strum on a C chord. Just our ring finger here on the third fret of the A string is fine. And we play the open A, then the open G, 
If you're playing a high G ukulele, if you're playing a low G, you'll want to fret the third fret on the E string. But with the high G, we play open G, then zero on the E, and then two on the C. And when we play the two on the C here, we want to build our D minor chord back. So it's our ring finger going on the second fret of the C string, because then we're going to do a down strum on that chord to close it off. So that measure sounds like this. Now with this part, I like to do the down strum down, and then I can use uh, any combination of fingers to play this. I typically like to use my um, middle on the A string, thumb on the G, and then I'll use my middle on the E string, and then index on the C. But what's beautiful about that part is there's no real, you know, one way to play that. You can use true four finger picking using the ring finger on the A. You could just use your middle and thumb. It doesn't really matter as long as you get that articulate sound. As we go into the next section of the song, it's essentially a repeat, only instead of that fast picking method, we're going to be using some strumming. So kicking off section B here. We're going to start by going with our D minor chord, exactly the same as we were doing before. And now we're going to go down, down, up, down, down, up, down. You can see these strum markers, the little three quarters of a square is going to be a down strum. And the little V or two thirds of a triangle is an up strum. So again, we have down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Then we'll pluck the C, E, A. Again, I like to use my thumb index middle there. So that measure is. Then we go to the next measure. The next measure is identical to the second measure of the song in terms of how we want to try playing it with the middle finger here on the third fret of the E and then the ring finger muting the A. And it's especially difficult here because we're going to do a strum pattern of down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Notice exactly the same pattern is the measure just prior, but making sure that I'm muting the A string throughout it. So down, down, up, down, down, up, down, and then I play the exact same part as that second measure. So again, that sounds like. Now from here, it goes back to the D minor chord again, same pattern, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. But then we're going to remove these fingers just like we did before. Play two on the A string, three on the A, and five on the A. Again, using our middle ring pinky. We're going to do down on a C chord, and then pick the open A, open G, open E, and then the two on the C. But we want to use our ring finger here because we want to set up a D minor chord for that down strum. So that whole measure sounds like this. You'll notice that's exactly the same as measure four. They're identical, right? So that second repeat layers in some strumming. So the first one is pure picking. Second one is now going to use strumming for it. Now there's a third run through and the third run through is more of a rhythmic variation. So it's going to go back to the picking sound but if you look at the music notes, you'll notice that it's actually going to be a little bit different in terms of its notation. So when we take a look here, the start of section C, it's going to start off much the same way, but there's a few less zeros involved. So we're gonna play our D minor, same way we have been. We're gonna do a down strum. Then we're going to play the open A only three times. The first one lasts the longest. The second one is the shortest, followed by the third one, which is somewhere in between. The count here is a dotted eighth note, a sixteenth, and an eighth note. It's not too important to count those exactly right, just because it's very difficult to. I think it's a great exercise if you're wanting to work on sixteenth note counting, but I think what's more critical is being able to hear it. And listening to me play it now, you can hear that, that variation. It should sound something like this. And so notice how instead of now, right? 
So a different type of sound. For more on that, um, be sure to check out the Patreon page where I actually have a WAV file posted of the computer playing it, which is you know very mechanical in terms of its sound, but sometimes that's really nice for that clean, articulate timing to be able to match it up and line it up with how you're playing it. So the first measure of C sounds like this. Second measure of C, we're going to go back to that same three on the E with the middle and X on the A with the ring. We're going to do a down strum. And then we're going to do the three on the E. Same rhythm as what we just did the measure prior. And then open C, open E, and open three. Same way that we were playing it previous measures. So that sounds something like. We go back to our D minor chord, but then we're going to go up to the two with the middle, three with the ring, again, leaving the index on, but taking off the other two fingers. So that sounds like. And then for the very last measure of the song, we're going to go down on the C chord, open A, open G, open E, and then two on the C, but. Normally we use our ring finger here to set up this D minor. This time we're going to play it with our index finger and we're going to bar across too when we play that. Only play the C string, then we're gonna slide it up to the fifth fret and play those three notes together for the ending. So that very last measure is Now the index finger helps facilitate that slide and makes it just a little bit more efficient, but you'll notice it's going to go against the grain of what the muscle memory that's been established is with using that ring finger. And so it's just a good opportunity to get comfortable with other fingers. So that's Drunken Sailor. Again, one of my all time favorite Irish tunes. Be sure to check out the links down below to see the other two songs that are done in this Irish medley, as well as uh, check out the Patreon page to see how to put them all together with the tab that has all three tunes written. Um, as always, please feel free to check it out and uh, help vote on next month's song and help decide. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in a comment below. Thanks so much. I hope to see you guys on the next video.